Welcome to Genshin Optimizer, where we enable your obsessive coping disorders. In this guide, I'll show you some ways to use the new Theory Craft tab. Recently when using the Optimizer, you may have noticed a new tab on the right side of the character page. This tab allows you to create a theoretical weapon and artifact combination for your characters based off their level, talents, constellations and team state to see the resulting potential damage or to compare to what you've currently got. For example, maybe you sunk Primos on the Engulfing Lightning banner and you want to justify that it was indeed a better choice than the catch for Raiden. First, click Copy from Equipped to pre-fill the Theorycraft tab with your current build, then swap the weapon for the catch. Don't forget to confirm the refinement level and, whew, Engulfing was indeed better. Another thing you can do is check if an Electro Damage Goblet would be better. It wouldn't. Interdasting. What about an Energy Recharge Sands? Oh. Another example would be checking how good artifact set bonuses are, assuming substat quality remains the same. I'll check my Hu Tao's four piece Crimson Witch build against the new Gilded Dream set. Click Copy from Equipped again to pre fill the current build, delete the Crimson Witch set, and add Gilded Dreams, remembering to select the four set from the drop down and enable the conditional. This automatically pulls from Hu Tao's team configuration and applies the applicable bonuses. So assuming equal substat quality, 4-piece Gilded Dreams is worse than 4-piece Crimson Witch on a Funerational Hu Tao. But what about a double Geo Hu Tao team? Nope, still worse, Sag. But what if I had a HP Sans? <sighs> nope. I guess I'm still waiting for that dedicated Hu Tao artifact set after all. Finally, let's look at creating a full theoretical build on Shang Ling based on Keqing Main's standards for artifact role distribution. Configure a weapon, in this case I'll use a refined 5 level 90 catch, the main stats, typically Zhang Ling wants attack, pyro damage and crit rate, and she'll be on a 4 piece emblem build. Now the KQM standards say you must have two average rolls of every possible substat to start with, so make sure median is selected from the substat roll drop down and add two to every field. Then the KQM standards say you have a remaining 20 rolls to work with, but you can only allocate a maximum of 10 additional rolls of a single substat. Since the catch and emblem already solve her energy recharge requirements for the most part, I'll add 10 crit damage, another 3 crit rate in elemental mastery, and the remaining 4 into attack. Now when I compare this build against what I've already got equipped, I see that my level of investment is already significantly higher than what KQM consider the average Genshin player should be able to achieve. I guess I should go touch some grass. Which is the perfect segue for you to watch our other guide video on the introduction of the Dendro element to the Optimizer. I hope this guide was helpful, and if you have further questions, don't hesitate to join our Discord community to ask for assistance.